All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about my favorite lures to use pier fishing. We got an assortment of different stuff here. We're going to go over the uses of each one of them, what they're best for, how I like to rig them up. Let's go ahead and jump on into this. All right, guys, first lures we're gonna talk about is these Yoziris. Um, also, X-Wraps work good as well, but I usually have a Yoziri. These are great for throwing for Spanish, as well as some King Mackerel, they're gonna hit them as well. We also do get a lot of Spanish and bluefish around the pier, all these are gonna hit them. These are very good, they catch quite a bit of different species out there, so I definitely make sure I always have some of these on here. They make a lot of different sizes, as you can tell, two different sizes here. The bigger one's usually better for King, you can go a little smaller. I even have this little Yozuri, which is perfect for when the Spanish are feeding on small bait fish. You can see how much smaller that one is. A lot of times, depending on what these fish are feeding on, whether it be little LYs or they end up feeding on like little minnows and something like that, you wanna kinda of match the hatch. So I do throw that smaller one when there's a lot of smaller bait out there and that's what the fish are feeding on. Next, we will talk about the jigs. So I got a couple Pompano jigs. This is Salty's Pompano jigs. I don't know the brand of this one. Uh, but these little Pompano jigs are great. One for throwing for Pompano during the spring. We can catch a lot of the Pompano off the pier here. But they're also really good when those Spanish are hanging down deeper in the water. Those jigs are going to get to the bottom and you can work them up real quick and those Spanish and bluefish and stuff like that will hit those. So these pompano jigs are great for that. Like I said, for pompano, we're getting down deep, hitting those Spanish, bluefish, ladyfish. Again, you can target all those species with this. I also like to keep this little crystal minnow on there. It's very similar to this Yoziri as far as looks and size wise. Um, this one as well, it's going to sink down to the bottom and you can work it up real fast. Got a nice flare on the end of it there. They do make these in a few different colors. Uh, that's all preference. I just have an assortment of stuff and you never really know what the fish are going to be hitting that day. So a little mixture of everything is great. The next thing I always have is some diamond jigs. These diamond jigs are excellent for when it's windy. Here in Alabama, we do get a lot of south winds and so we're trying to throw due south. You got a heavy wind trying to throw one of these Yoziris is going to be pretty tricky. And then so these little diamond jigs, this one's an ounce and they will cut right through that wind. So on a real windy day, these things are freaking great. Again, you can catch just about everything on them. Spanish will hit them. Uh, Kings will even hit them if you throw a bigger one, which I do have the spoons here. That's the next one. Throwing a big spoon, this is a two ounce casting spoon. Spoons are great for throwing for kings, again, into the wind. Uh, you can catch some big Spanish on them also. Or if you got any schools of redfish or jacks coming through, you can launch them at those. And those reds and jacks will hit those also. Now probably one of the most popular jigs to throw is this gotcha plug here. If you've ever been to a pier, you've definitely seen just about everybody throwing one of these. Those gotcha plugs will wear out the Spanish. I've seen some people catch some kings on it. Usually you're going to have a lighter leader or something you're not really targeting kings with this. Those gotcha plugs freaking wear them out. They make a lot of different sizes. So you can get some a little bigger, some a little heavier. That way if you got to cut through that wind or depending on the presentation that you're trying to match with the bait, you can get one that's a little bigger as well. <laughs> All right, moving on down the line, we got the bubble rig. Now, if you are out pier fishing and you're using all of these and you're just not catching anything, this is always a go-to. If the fish are there, the fish are definitely gonna eat a bubble rig. Over here in Gulf Shores at our pier, this is probably the most popular uh, rig or jig to throw. Everybody throws a bubble rig. What you do is you fill the bubble up with water. And it's got some leader behind it, which has this orange straw on it. You can get them with multiple different colors. You can make your own and just cut the straw or whatever. That, that straw is falling behind it, and so that bubble is popping on the top of the water which is attracting the fish, and then the color, they think it's a bait, they'll come tear it up. So these bubble rigs will kill the Spanish, as well as the blue fish and lady fish. It is an excellent rig. Again, all these are good to keep in your tackle box. Now the one thing that I always have with me, and I always have it tied on, is this hoagie swim bait here. This one is a three ounce, I believe. So I always have one of these tied on, whether we got some tarpon coming through, 
or big school of jacks or redfish. If any of those come through, a swim bait is definitely a must have. This is a setup I usually take with me. See, I do have another swim bait tied on there. So definitely always have to have one of those. All right, guys, as far as leader goes, when I'm throwing all of these, majority of the time, if you're just targeting Spanish or bluefish or the ladyfish, you just wanna go out and catch something. 30 pound mono is usually gonna get it done for you. But if you are gonna target specifically uh, Spanish, if you are getting cut off some, I do like to always have on some 50 pounds so you can bump it up with that. And then whenever I'm throwing for any of the big jacks, tarpon, um, or even trying to throw artificials for kings, you can go ahead and bump up to some 80 pound mono there. If you are specifically throwing some kings, it's usually best to go ahead and throw some wire. Uh, I usually don't put wire on any of these just because they are smaller. The chances, at least here in Gulf Shores, of hooking a king is a lot slimmer. If you're down further on the coast of Florida, further south somewhere, y'all got a lot of kings on your pier, you may want to use some wire just to try to help keep from getting cut off. Not usually an issue here um, in Gulf Shore. Uh, I will say too, with this pompano jig, if it is spring and I'm throwing specifically for pompano, I will use a 15 pound fluorocarbon, which is what I have tied on here right now. If you want to see how we tie this knot, I'm going to have the link down below. Uh, this is a loop knot on the Salty's Pompano jig with the teaser. So specifically for Pompano, 15 pound fluorocarbon is what I normally use. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. I hope all this helps y'all out. If y'all go out to the pier, make sure you have one of these with y'all and you're definitely going to catch some fish. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so now. I'm posting a video this Thursday. I caught the most epic fish ever. Bucket list fish of mine. It is going to be crazy. I'm working on editing right now. Can't wait to see the final video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But anyways, until next time, y'all take care. It is hot as crap in here. I'm sweating. I'm gonna make Frank come off. over here and fan me this whole time. <laughs> Try not to sweat during this video. <laughs> Bro, Jesus. it's like a million degrees. No, it's I wish I had really a, bad. a thermostat. Why do you not have a shop fan? Well, then it'd be too loud. True. Touche. Gotta have good audio. Well, why don't you put a, a like a silencer so, on there or something? A silencer? <laughs> like some sort of mute device. Can I buy a fan with a silencer on it? <laughs>